and jungle craft, I want to be very honest about uh, what works in theory and what works in practice. And over the weekend, I was testing the sheath that I made uh, a couple of days ago, and the belt attachment here just snapped off. Um, the problem is with this plastic, it doesn't like flexing. And I was, I was scrambling down a mud bank, and the, the parang snagged on a tree root. It bent the plastic backwards. The parang bent outwards, and this plastic snapped. And, you know, as you can see, it's... Well, it's now, of course, it's not snapping, but it's a bit too brittle. So that's a design flaw. And I think what I'm going to have to do is just um, modify this and use standard belt loops instead of a, a belt clip. Because what I, what I wanted was to, what I was trying to do was get something like the Mora knife sheath um, belt clip here, because I find these quite useful because you have to take your belt on and off. But unfortunately for this, uh, using plastic as thin as this, it doesn't work. But the main sheath is okay, so um, after I finish this, I'm just going to modify this a little bit, um, put in standard belt loops, and uh, um, test it out again. Okay, uh, over the weekend, I was in the jungle a um, couple of times. One time, I wasn't expecting to go into the jungle, and I broke my own first law of the jungle, which is never go in without your parang. And what happened was the dogs uh, cornered a wild boar, in the jungle and I had to push my way through about just about 20 foot of uh, undergrowth and I thought I'd show you uh, the result uh, you know you just get scratched to pieces like really quite quickly um, so I got scratches all over the back of my neck so it really is no joke to push your way through um, secondary jungle without a parang uh, you know you're just going to get um, scratched to shreds really and the other thing I was doing this weekend was um, putting a handle on this parang using traditional materials and uh, the traditional method of putting a parang handle on. This is um, wood from the root of a yellow sereca tree. And uh, I'll be posting a video up showing how, how, this is, uh, how, the, how this was done in the next day or two. So this wood now, uh, I'm not sure why, but the next stage is to put it on a fire and burn it for about five to ten minutes. Presumably to dry it and check it doesn't crack, but not really sure why, why that's the next stage, but it is. So we'll be setting this on fire as well. Okay, so I've uh, redone the belt attachment. Now it's just two loops that the, the belt goes through. And as I had four cable ties that I wanted to attach to the sheath anyway, I thought rather than using rope, I might as well use those. So I've got two here uh, and two around the sheath holding it in place. Uh, and this, this actually seems okay. In some ways, it's better because uh, with the clip, you couldn't pull the parang, uh, parang sheath out. And sometimes you need to do that if you're wearing a baggy shirt. You just want to lift it uh, slightly away from you so that you can pull the parang out. Um, and, you know, it makes it easy uh, to put back in. You can sort of angle it a little bit. So, you know, maybe it was a blessing in disguise. The other thing that I'd forgotten to do, I'd meant to do on the original uh, sheath and I'd forgotten, is to put... Um, some reflective material here so that at night if I've put the parang somewhere I can find it easily just by sort of shining a torch on it and all I've used is uh, more inner tube and that's holding in place an old bicycle reflector uh, tape that, that you wear around your ankle so you know that's that's quite a useful little thing to to remember if you can Something else I forgot to mention on the first video is that with the parang sheath, you want it um, loose enough that you can take the parang out um, easily, but not so loose that the parang f you know, can fall out if you say you're sliding down a hill. So like with this one, you can see the parang is, is well held, but you know it's not, it's not so stiff that I can't um, put it in and take it out easily. If you're wondering uh, about the cable ties and thinking, well, now you know they can't be reused because I've used them as belt loops. In fact, they can. Uh, it's, it's, it's a fairly straightforward matter to, to uh, use a cable tie again. And all you need to do is um, uh, push back the, the sort of retaining clip here. It's like a sort of ratchet mechanism. And you know you can use the point of your machete to do this. Let me see if I can show you. And then you can just pull out the uh, the end of the bite, and you can use it again. So 
you know, these things can be used again and again and again. Uh, the other thing I was doing today is I just got a fire going um, and I've burnt the, the uh, wood that we've used for the parang handle. So this is ready to be carved. So quite looking forward to doing that. And just in case any of you are worrying about the wild boar I mentioned earlier, you'd be glad to know it did get away. I managed to grab the dogs in time. So. <coughs>